All right, continuing our historic series of taking old screenshots provided by CoolSpot and trying to recreate what happened, uh, we know a few things here. We know the position on the board, we know what the rules were, we do not know what the rule set for the round was, like what stipulations were present, but we know what rules are in play. We can deduce a bunch of things from about how we got here from where the cards are and what color they are, and we know what eventually happened in the match because this is from Triad Wars 10 and it's in the tournament record. And the reason I'm showing this is because this is from Doom Train's best run ever, where he made the semifinals and his big win was in round two, beating Koner in a big upset. And I think this is the game. This is the game that he beat Koner in. Now, looking at the cards, we can figure out a bit of whose was whose. 2-9-A-3 must have been in Doom Train's hand. And I think it also must have been the starter. There is no permutation to get here that does not have that as the first move of the game. Because we know that was in his hand, so if he started with the only other card here that's his color, A943, at some point that would have been flipped by Koner's 9934 landing an 8, and it couldn't still be blue. So we know Doom Train started the game with 29A3 and 1. We also know Koner must have 449A in his hand because you can't have the same card in your hand twice, and Doom Train has that card in his hand as well, but also because that card could not have been flipped after it was played, so it must be Koner's. Now the cards in 7 and 8 could go either way. It could be that Doom Train started in 1, Koner played in 8, Doom Train played in 7, and Koner recaptured in 9. However, I think what happened is Doom Train played in 1, Koner played in 7, Doom Train played in 8, and Koner played in 9. And the reason I think that is because if we look at the hands, we know Doom Train played at least one level 9, the 2-9-A-3, and he has two more level 9s in his hand, three level 9s total. Koner has one level 9 in his hand, and so he will only have three level 9s if the A-9-4-3 and the 4-4-9-A come from his hand. So I think they must have, because I can't imagine he was intentionally using drastically lower level cards. 7648 is already level 7, and there are no other level 7s in the game, so this already seems like he was using slightly low level, but I can't imagine he missed an opportunity to use three level 9s. It seems it, like. Because if also, if he only used two level 9s and Doom Train had four, what kind of stipulation could have possibly led that to happen? So I think we can be pretty confident with what the first four moves of the game were. And let's switch over to the solver and take a look at the game. So we know starter in one, response in seven, capture in eight. There's no response in four. You might think what was Koner thinking, but I think what he was thinking is I have the starter really well covered, right? I have this really well covered. Doom Train has the recaptures. So I'm going to play something to try to induce him to go in squares that can get comboed through that. But Turns out Doom Train could just take it, and Koner can take back, and now 8 is safe, but 6 isn't. I think there's two appealing squares for Doom Train to go. There's 4 locking in a card, and there's 6 locking in a card. But that card in 7 is already locked in, and if you go in 4, you kind of have to go with this, or you risk getting comboed through. So you really want to go in 6, locking in 9, but it's weird. What card do you put in 6? Really hard to play this one because you're comboed so many ways and you don't have the combos back. So it's got to be this one, but that does give up your recaptures in four. However, it's kind of okay to give up your recaptures in four because if you're taken in two, you can play something like here. And your A429 actually has wonderful coverage of their remaining two cards, right? This card, you same, and this card, you plus. Very nicely. Um, so the A429 actually plays really well at the end here, so they can't grab it immediately. We know this position was reached. We know Doom Train won the match. I think it's safe to guess this was the game he won, given that we have a screenshot of a winning position from it, and I bet he played the winning move. Now, having looked at this a bit, I think the trickiest thing Koner can do, if someone can find something trickier, then I will probably switch to thinking that was the move, but I think this looked trickiest. Uh, there is only one win here. If you go up top, then I can very sneakily somehow, this A429 doesn't capture anything. If you go up top with this card, 
than I hold. Right? In fact, so now I can't get away with that, that's the same wall. But I do hold, right? If you go in five, then I can just I mean I can do whatever, right? And if you go in five with the other card, uh, I just did that one. If you go in five with the other card, four four nine A is kind of a dead here, right? I can win. And if you go in six, uh, a four two nine does not cover my four. And if you go in six this way, well, there is our answer. Four nine a four uh, sweeps the four down, and this can't capture anything. And if you go in five, either card takes something, but I capture you back. And I think, unlike the previous game of me versus Yojimbo, where I'm quite confident I know the next move of the game, and I think it was the decisive game, and but I'm really not sure what happened after that. This one, I think we can be really confident this happened next. And then, okay, we're in a winning position, everything loses, but I think this is a pretty good guess as to how the game finished. And Doom Train gets a win over a huge opponent who was just having an incredible run, uh, basically from 2007 through 2011, 12 ish. Uh, Boner was just racking up icons, setting all kinds of records for most icons and most icons in a row and all that stuff. Phenomenal run, and uh, Doom Train knocked him out in round two, and with a really nice win. So this is the uh, next game of our trying to recreate historic game series. This one's from Triad Wars 10, which happened in, I want to say 2012. I think that's right. And yeah, hope you enjoyed the game and, you know, taking this little look at history.